Welcome back to B Adventures, guys. We got another tech video. As you can see, I got myself a Samsung SSD, solid state drive. Uh, why I got this particular one? It's 500 gigabytes. My current travel laptop is 500 gigs, so I wanted to make sure I have the same capacity for hard drive storage space. There are newer models available. I saw this one uh, for a good price uh, in Australia. I got it for $209 Australian. You can convert that, that's about $155 US. I also got this cable, the migration cable, you will need that. That way you can connect this, transfer all your data from your computer to this, and then re and install this piece of hardware. So why go through all this trouble? Well, this is basically a huge uh, SD card. It's basically a huge memory card, so it allows you to have flash memory on your computer, and it can bring some life back to your old laptop. And that's pretty much one of the best, and pretty much one of the only upgrades you can do with a laptop besides RAM. Now my last video was a RAM upgrade, but this had not arrived yet. I'd ordered this, um, this stuff and I uh, hadn't arrived, otherwise I would have done it together. So this is the next stage. Uh, hopefully it won't be too long. There's already plenty of installation videos out there um, that are very detailed and very, very uh, technical and helpful. But this is just my little experience I'm going to share with you guys. Okay guys, obviously I'm looking at the computer. Now, as you can see, we're on the Samsung website and we're looking at the data migration software. So I'm gonna download it. Okay. The point is, um, you will need this software. All right, so I've, I've already downloaded it. I'll put links below in the description section so you can uh, do the same. Or you will have a CD. Now, mine did not come with a CD. I just got the hard drive itself. Okay. And I got the cable. So as you can see, we've got the uh, migration software. So I'm going to follow the steps and start transferring this uh, to the new SSD. Okay, as you can see, the cloning process has started. So it's, it's copying um, from my old hard drive to this new SSD. And I've heard it can take up to, you know, five hours. It could take many hours. So uh, we will see. We're only a few minutes into it. We've just started. And I'll just show you the little setup on the side here, as you can see. Yeah. That's it. We're just copying in, in onto that and then I'll have to reinstall that physically into the into the bottom of the computer. So Alright guys, uh we're gonna go kill some time and uh we'll come back when this is done. Okay guys, as you can see, the migration is complete. Okay, day on the source disk has been successfully cloned, the Samsung SSD. And pay attention here, it has prompted me. Cloning is complete, please shut down the system, blah blah blah. So that's what we got, we got to shut it down and physically install the, the SSD. Okay, guys, at the work desk, uh, I'm going to perform the transition now, the swap, or the install, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so here's the SSD. Now, for those who haven't figured it out yet, SSDs are a form of flash memory. Just like a memory card or a USB, let me show you. Just like one of these memory sticks. Okay. And it's electronic memory, you know, and there's a, there's a, there's memory uh, modules inside here. So it's the same concept, just that, of course, it's bigger. What's great is this is an enclosed unit. See, it's got a case, so it offers some protection. But just be careful not to touch those gold uh, pins. Those go gold areas, you know, you don't want to get uh, ESD, electrostatic discharge. So I still have to be careful. I have washed my hands. I'm not wearing gloves this time um, because of that, because it's enclosed. So, to start, I'm going to take out my battery. Okay. I heard you don't have to, but it helps. Again, reducing the chance of um, a, a bad install or a, something along those lines. Okay. Now we're going to get my uh, laptop open. Okay. It also helps to have a little uh, cup or something to put small screws in because you will lose them. 
trust me, you will lose them or you may even put the wrong ones in the wrong area. Okay. So let's see how this uh, looks great. So that just slides off. So there's the original hard drive. So these original traditional hard drive SATA drives, that's actually a spinning disk inside here. And then in order to access programs, applications, the computer actually has to access that spinning disk. Uh, and then it, it continues spinning and working. Uh, where less moving parts with an SSD, less electricity, faster, faster read and write speeds, blah, blah, blah. So goodness gracious, I've got to get all these screws out. So I may have to fast forward, guys. And the idea is I'm going to install this in, inside that case. Okay guys, so we undid just a couple of the screws and as you can see It just slots right out Okay so uh, I've got to continue taking these screws out and then put this inside here to replace it Let me Just give you guys a closer look old Toshiba hard drive, physical hard drive and then here's the Samsung anyway, okay okay so I took the front casing off this actually has a bit of metal on the back Let's show you, you know with uh, more technical specs on there so I actually took that off here is the SSD in the case so wish me luck, hopefully this is it. There's a little tab as part of the case, it's just a plastic plastic tab and that's how you can move it in and out without touching uh, the crucial components. Uh, hopefully it's in spec, I believe it is, yep. What I mean by that is no play, it's a nice tight, nice tight fit, okay, just to let you guys see. And then we're gonna put the, the screws back in. Okay, so I'm gonna fast forward but you know, just to let you guys see. Okay. Well, the computer's working at least, so at least I didn't destroy it. I installed the Samsung Magician software. Now, this is recommended. Apparently it's meant to help manage the SSD and help it integrate a bit better and uh, keep firmware updated, blah, blah, blah. So these are some specs, but it uh, seems to be fine. There's other people that have done the whole technical spec thing in comparison. But basically, I've heard anywhere from three to four times faster than the original hard drive. So uh, time will tell. I'll have to test it and, and you know work with it. I'll do some work with it and uh, we'll see how it's performing. Okay, guys. Well, that's it. Uh... The upgrades have gone pretty well, so uh, the previous one was the RAM upgrade and now the SSD, the new hard drive. So just to help people understand, the whole philosophy of use is, this is already six years old. My trusty Sony Vio 13 inch, back when Sony owned Vio, they sold it to another company. So Sony doesn't make uh, laptops anymore, but uh, six years old guys, it has served me very well. Uh, it was top of the range at the time and you know rather than throwing it out uh, I thought I'd try and do a rebuild now the whole idea is six years is a long time so it was already unusable it was already so slow programs applications even just browsing the internet was just really slow really unproductive so so far so good um, I did some work with it last night just to see how it performed and it did okay like it was back to like it was new again back to like brand new. It wasn't super fast, but it was definitely usable again. So it wasn't like, oh wow, super fast because it's already an old. That's that's reality, it's still an old computer. But um, at least it's usable again, so I can do some work with it. Definitely travel with it. Uh, my main concern was if the hard drive failed while traveling. So imagine while traveling, that would really suck. Uh, and I might lose, you know, videos, photos, and all, all those pictures that I take while traveling, so. That's why I wanted to get it done now while I have the opportunity and also, like I said, keep using a perfectly good laptop rather than wasting money or being wasteful and, uh, you know, just 
uh, yeah, <laughs> brought some life back. Brought some life back to it. So, uh, let me get, know if you guys found it helpful. Let me know if you guys have done SSD and RAM upgrades too. Uh, you know, I hope it was helpful. And like I said, I'll just keep using it and we'll see how it goes. Alright guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.